And we're back to part two. Um, I need to finish the story. How far are we? Yeah, we're, we're like three quests. Oh, okay. I have to wait until the... <laughs> oh, I gotta open this thing up again. Are you kidding me? Are right, we good now? Can I, can I go play the game? Also, don't question why Yulo's at 431 HP. I don't want to hear it. Oh, you're here early. I just ordered. The food should be out in a second. Here, hand me your cups. Oh, thank you. Why does he look like that? Ooh, we got art. I love how cute this looks. Look at this. I wonder what the Aether one looks like, because obviously Lumine, Aether, two different people. I want to say something. I don't know how people do it. How do you have like a big conversation over a meal? Because at some point for me, I just want to enjoy the meal. If I'm sitting down at dinner, for me, it's hard to hold a conversation. I'm just, I like food, okay? My dad is just an ordinary tea merchant. Small scale stuff, you know? My dad, he always wanted me to inherit the family business. To be a merchant like him. But that's just not who I am. That's not who I ever wanted to be. Have you ever talked to him about it? Of course I have. I, I told him I wanted to be a wusho dancer. That I wanted all of Tavat to see what I could do. According to my dad, though, that wasn't a real job. Just a child's pipe dream. That, that's a really harsh thing to hear. When you have this inspiration that you want to, you know, pursue into like the job sphere, <sighs> that's tough. One day, he tried to get me to visit some other tea merchants to start building the right relationships, but I refused to go. We got into a huge fight. We, we were this close to throwing hands. Damn. In the end, I was so angry that I, I ran away from home. I haven't been back since. This is a very hard thing. I feel for him though. I feel for him. Cause I know there's a, there's a lot of people out there with this very similar situation. You follow what you want to do or do what your parents tell you. Eventually you'll figure things out for yourself. I knew talking would only get me so far, but if I made it big and leave you a harbor, the results could speak for themselves. In the past, I would go door to door from store to store, asking if they would be interested in hiring a performer. Most times, I wound up eating nothing but humble pie. Okay, enough of all that serious talk. Let's do something fun this afternoon. We kinda already have plans this afternoon. We're gonna make a kite. Okay. I'll go with you. If Auntie Xian Yun wants to use those dyes in a kite, the formula will need to be changed. Thanks, Gaming. And now we've started part two. Holy moly, <laughs> we're gonna be here for a minute. Why is this all the way down here? Oh, I see them. Yo, yo, let's get it. I forgot Ganyu's whole thing is that she could sleep while standing up. Oh, you must be here for Auntie Shen Yun's kite making workshop, right? I love kite making. I want to participate in the kite flying competition with my best friend. Your best friend? Who is this? Yes, it's more meaningful if you make the kite yourself, right? That was always my theory. Sometimes, in, in general, sometimes with, with some things, it's better to make things yourself at the end of the day. Your best friend didn't come with you? Well, Chi Chi's been super busy helping Dr. Bai. Oh, God. I'll meet up with her. Oh, later no. Surprise. <laughs> I forgot her best friend is Chi Chi. <laughs> if Chi Chi shows up in this, I'm going to leave. Oh, well, we're all here. But where the heck is Xian Yun? Shouldn't she be here by now? Who is it that speaks of oneself in such an ill tempered tone? Paimon. It appears that we've ended up with quite a few participants indeed. <gasps> Go ahead and divide yourselves into small groups. It's actually eight. It's eight people standing in a circle. It's so over. So let's go from the top and then work our way down. Oh. Could I touch them just once more though? No oil or anything this time. I've just always wondered what Miss Ganyu's horns feel like. I thought we were making kites over here. What the? <laughs> What's going on over here? Just be gentle. Shenna's gonna be like, wow, these horns are great for kite making. And then just like, <laughs> actually, let's, let's not think about that. Well, they seem to be getting along swimmingly. I know what you are. Hey, Gaming, want to team up? I thought I'd be done for the day after adjusting the dye formula. You always have to make a kite, Gaming. This is important work. You're that unenthused by kite making, huh? That doesn't seem like you. It's 
what I'm no, saying. No, it's not that. It's just... Uh, it would take too long to explain. I guess I'll just make one then. What do you think, Shuyu? Is there a particular design you want? I want a swanee! What the hell's a swanee? Do I have to... I'm looking this up. Holy moly. Oh, wow. That... Yeah, that would... Might be a little bit hard to pull off. Just, just, just a teeny bit. Auntie Cloud Retainer, look! Am I doing it right? Hmm, very good. Your frame is nice and sturdy. You two seem strangely unoccupied. One was under the impression that one was supposed to be doing the relaxing. Is your kite finished? They're both scared out of their minds. So like, she noticed. We actually haven't started yet, but we're going to start uh, right now. <laughs> Pants up to the top of the sky like some anime opening. <laughs> She's got that smug attitude already. Oh, that's not a completely crazy idea. Bruh. Holy moly. Now, what expression should we give her? Give her the most neutral face possible. Paimon's actually doing it herself. That's crazy. All right. Gather around, everyone. Let one take a look. Wow. Yeah. you and Shenha made a scissor-tailed swallow. Man, I need to play more event quests. Look at how cute these are. Uh, if you look closely, there are a few spots where the colors go outside the lines. Paimon, that's not constructive criticism. That's just you being mean. Don't be mean to Ganyu. The swanee that Gaming and Shuyu made looks very majestic. Your golden finch is cute too, Yao Yao. What about your kite, traveler? For some reason, we're just too cool enough. We didn't even, like, take it to show to the table. We just kept it hanging. I don't know why we did that. <laughs> I like that. That's a good facial expression. That reminds me of something my buddy Saple would draw. Is that the Jade Chamber? No. As a gentle breeze, as a gentle breeze brushes past, I can't read dares attempt such a flagrant display of impropriety by releasing a kite into one's territory without one's permission. Oh, and to do so by making use of this crude piece of mortal machinery. Oh, uh -oh. One simply must know who it is that possesses such impertinence. Uh-oh. <laughs> She's pissed. Continue attaching the strings, everyone. One will be There's a moment. crab in the... <laughs> <laughs> There's just a crab. Hey, yo, someone keep an eye out on that crab. Where's that crab? Stupid freaking crab. Let's get it. This Fontanian device of mechanical motion is quite curious indeed. It's the two guys again. Now is hardly an opportune time for your musings. Someone among us was not sufficiently attentive, and now the kite has vanished. On the subject of said kite, however... One simply must remark on the genius of its windless lift technology. One cannot help but surmise that its ingenuity rivals that of Cloud Retainer's creations. One presumes that this kite belongs to you. She was ready for the opening. This is all your fault. Say something, Mountain Shaper. Surely you can think of something to appease her. She's literally waiting for you two to speak. Can you just like stop yapping? Sir, that is not our kite. Oh, so an adeptus such as oneself is mistaken then? Ah, uh, you're an adeptus? Please forgive us for any impropriety. This locale is home to such exquisite... Uh, ah, mint! Bro. Huh. We finally caught up. Moon Carver? Mountain Shaper? What are you doing here? <laughs> Good job, Paimon. Very awesome. I was simply curious as to how long they would keep up the act then you are not angry hmm. how could one feel anger at the sight of two old friends enjoying themselves your prowess in mechanics is unparalleled cloud retainer of this we are well aware <sighs> hmm. <laughs> one has guests to attend to we will have to convene again some other time traveler paimon do try to keep up and there she goes. All right, return. I could just teleport. They're back. Hello. Night fast approaches. If you are otherwise unoccupied, one would entreat you to stay and eat before you depart. Shenha, Ganyu, come with me. Whoa, what's with all the secrecy? You're not trying to play favorites, are you? 
They're literally related to each other. No, I have to walk all the way over here. Whoa, it's the skins that cost money. This is the first time I've, we've seen Ganyu blush in like a quest. Those outfits really suit you both. I will admit they are incredible outfits, but unfortunately, as I see them, all I can think about is, oh, it's a lot of money out of my account if I were to get these. Given that one employed the services of the best tailor in all of Liyue, one would expect nothing less. You sit down and enjoy a table full of delicious food. Let's get it. It's a good thing Ga Ming isn't here, or Paimon would have to duel him for the food. He traveled all this way on account of the kite making workshop, and he spent the whole afternoon looking after Shu Yu. He appears to be a young man of much merit, and one is not the type who would see such potential squandered. Where do we even begin? Oh, do you know about the conflict between Ga Ming and his dad, Xin Yun? Isn't that a personal matter? <laughs> Is, isn't that a personal matter that Gaming shared with us in a moment where it was an enclosed space where you didn't want other people to know? One believes we would all benefit from a more thorough retelling. Start from the beginning. Oh, okay. Paimon just hopes he won't mind. No, Paimon, you don't do that. Paimon tells Cloud Retainer everything she knows what? about the Gaming family situation. This shall not do. Lantern right fast approaches. We must make haste. Aha, one has an idea. Let's see how this plays out. How about this? And then we're Does not going to hear about it. One? Yeah, and we're not going to see it until it gets played in a cutscene. I'm excited though. Paimon really hopes this works. Now then, I counsel rest for all and to make the necessary preparations. One shall see you in two days. Two days again? I'm so mad. Because you know what the quest is going to say? Hey, we finished it. It's going to say, hey, uh, you have to wait two days. Yeah. Time to carry out the plan. I don't know the plan. Hi, Gunning. Paimon sees you've certainly gotten an early start this morning. Playing games already, are we? What is she doing? Why is she brushing her hand along the wall? You're all here. Uh, there's an important commission I need your help with. Commission? Daily commission. I need you to escort a tea merchant and their wares from Chaoyun Village to Liyue Harbor. Uh, what's this merchant's address? Is it his dad's? Is it his dad's? I swear. Uh, uh, oh no. If the client's that important, then this must be a very crucial, very pressing commission, right? We'll set off then. Look at that guy. Holy moly. <laughs> What's he up to? Part three. We're almost done. Huh? Oh, we, we got teleported here. You're a bit quiet today, Gaming. Oh, do you want Paimon to tell a story? Uh, we're almost there. I'll take a rain check on that. I have a slight suspicion I know who it's going to be. Hello. You must be the tea merchant heading to Liyue Harbor. We're here to escort you. Hmm. Dad? Oh, so you're Gaming's father. It's nice to meet you. Everyone at the Secure Transport Agency says as much. Even the Ministry of Civil Affairs has nothing but good things to say about him. Seems like you've made some sort of name for yourself at least. Let's go. I hope we could just like teleport instantly. Yes, we do. We Oh, we gotta go to the long shoe in. I thought we were gonna have to go on the boat. I was not looking forward to that. We've been walking for so long. Is anyone tired? How about we stop and rest for a bit? This place looks nice and open. Why don't you all rest here for a second? What about you? You're not going to join us? We'll just share amongst ourselves then. Did you know, Uncle Ip, that the flavor of these cakes changes depending on- Halt! Who goes there? It appears uh -oh. that one's movements were overly conspicuous. <laughs> Bro, why do you guys look like bandits with those masks? Enough of your musings. Focus. Focus on the matter at hand. Uh oh. Present oh, your this is the ornaments at once. This is the plan. What do we do? It seems as if these two are acting alone. Leave this to me. I'll handle them. Traveler, Paimon, take my dad and the goods away from here. No, coming. 
It's too dangerous. This is what I do. A thorny foe indeed. Let us depart and seek a target softer in blows and disposition. Where? Let us away. <laughs> the Looney Tunes ass fucking trail in the background. Coming. If he had just stayed by my side and learned the family trade, he wouldn't have to put himself in such dangerous situations. We just have to trust him. Let's go on ahead. And just like that, somebody has been watching. We'll figure it out as we go. We should be good to stop here. Who is that? Is that who I think it is? Young Lee? Oh no, what is he doing here? Yes! <laughs> he made an appearance! But that's a ghost. Good sir, please listen to me. Reel in your line and leave this place as quickly as you can. There are bandits in the area. <laughs> Telling Zhang Lee that, it's really funny. Bandits acting in broad daylight. <laughs> Good job, Paimon. Good cover. Ah, I see. It appears many people are catching a chill as of late. If your throat is bothering you, Paimon, perhaps some tea and rest are in order. You must have figured it out. I'll. Blah, 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 blah. Such matters are best left to those with the necessary expertise. Wouldn't you agree? Since we find ourselves otherwise unoccupied in this beautiful area. Why don't we find a quiet place to relax while we wait for good news? Find a tea stall to rest at. I could actually go for some tea. I really like tomorrow morning. So, uh, Uncle Ip does have a reason to be worried. After all, Ga Ming, the guard we mentioned, is his son. Ah, yes. That is the name of the Usho dancer who has been performing around Liyue Harbor recently, is it not? I cannot help but admire his skill. He truly encapsulates the spirit of the Suani. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. To have a child so accomplished and upright. You must be a very proud parent indeed, Uncle Lip. <laughs> I like how both of their faces are in shock. Like He's a hard worker. Yes. Your son is young yet. It's normal for someone his age to be a bit hot-headed. It's understandable to find talking about such things in person difficult. If there's a particular sentiment you wish to convey... Perhaps we could pass it along for you. No, no. It wouldn't be right to ask that of you. In truth, there are some things that simply aren't easy for us to talk through. I heard how well he was doing for himself as a guard. It made me happy. But I was also worried. I often regret introducing him to wushou dancing as a kid. If I had known how things would turn out, I would have never taken him to see those performances in the first place. But if you do that, then you're not showcasing just all the avenues a child, especially a child, can explore. You don't want a, you don't want a sheltered child. You want them to explore and see what they, see what's out there in the world. It is only natural for a parent to strive to send their child down the right path. No one would begrudge you that sentiment, Uncle Ip. You need not worry. You seem quite young, Mr. Zhang Li. Yet you speak with such wisdom. Perhaps I have misjudged your age. <laughs> Maybe by a few thousand years. Or was it hundred? He's old. Truth be told, one of my old friends has several grown daughters. She prefers to let them find their own way. Then she's more easygoing than I could ever be. I fear I lack such an open mind. Recognizing is the first step to changing. You already know that that's something you want to change. You need not reproach your heart for caring. You simply need to loosen your hold a little. Love the kite metaphor is this event quest. Indeed, with such a big heart, why not allocate the time you usually spend worrying about Gaming to the pursuit of other things? Like going for a stroll, drinking tea, or taking in the scenery. Is that Cloud Retainer watching from afar once again? The blink of an eye, you say. Do things change so quickly? Yes, and it could be a little concerning, or it could be really cool, like this channel so far. I feel like I'm, I'm gonna be saying this in almost every damn video, but once again, support has been incredible, and it has felt like it's been overnight. Oh. Dad, Traveler, Paimon. Good, you're all here. Oh, and 
Mr. Zhong Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Forgot he's a part of the funeral parlor. Where is Hu Tao? Where is she? Is everything resolved? Well, you could say that. What does that mean? Traveler, Paimon, come with me. I need to talk to you. <laughs> he's figured it out. I'll come right out and say it. Those two bandits, you sent them, didn't you? At first, their mannerisms seemed a bit stilted. But once I got close, it was obvious that they possessed great skills. I was right on their tail, and it should have taken only a few steps to catch up to them, yet somehow, I was never able to close that distance. People with that level of skill would have gone about things differently from the start, like sneaking up on us while we were distracted. Unless, of course, their real motive was to lure me away from the group all along. He figured it out that quickly. I'm guessing you guys were trying to help resolve things between my dad and me. Yeah. I appreciate it. I, I really do. And this conflict between us has been going on for a long time. Why don't you tell him about all the hard work you've done these past few years? Will that even do anything? I'm not sure talking is enough. You won't know unless you try. Just like how you won't know if something is delicious unless you taste it. It almost goes so well. The conversation moves so nicely. And then Paimon's like, food. <laughs> Ipdok and I have found many a common interest. Our friendship, much like a cup of tea, seems to grow stronger the longer it has to steep. That's pretty awesome. Ahem. <clears throat> Zhang Li? I have very much enjoyed our conversation, Ipdok. But I, unfortunately, have some unfinished funeral parlor business to attend to. My apologies for taking up so much of your time, Mr. Zhang Li. I'll treat you to dim sum. It would be an honor. Hi, Zhang Li. I miss him already. You two have a nice chat, all right? Thanks for helping us talk things through with Uncle Ip. Good thing you were able to pick up on what we were putting down. I have been around the both of you for some time now. You could say I have a certain level of expertise in that regard. Why did you have us walk all this way? Paimon thought we just had to go far enough to be out of earshot. A friend approaches. A friend? Hello. What? <laughs> Where did he come from? I like how he also just summoned. He just appeared himself. Xiao, you're here too? I've been here the whole time. <gasps> He's been watching from afar. Dad, in, I... you can go first. I don't have anything to say. Then I'll go. I still don't want to leave Liyue Harbor. I can't say I support that decision, but... <sighs> hey, let me finish before you get all worked up. Sit, Shinha, sit. You must be tired from your journey. What? <laughs> They're right over there! No need, I'm not tired. What are Auntie Shenyun and Shenha doing here? Just how many people are involved in this scheme? You know, Gaming is really good at what he does, so he's able to pick up the fact that this is a whole elaborate plan. And it's like, he can't do much about it. We're, we're basically just like Gaming in the shoes right now. Has work been busy during the holiday season? Do you need my help with anything? Uh, drunk guests can sometimes cause trouble, but I deal with them as you taught me, by pinning their heads against the table. <laughs> Whoa! Recently, I've been conversing with Guoba in the kitchen at night. Guoba can't talk, but his companionship is a comfort. <sighs> the poor child. Her one friend can't even talk. I guess maybe Gaming is not doing so bad after all. <laughs> Don't be mean to Goba. You be mean to Goba. We're gonna. I'm gonna come after you. How about we do something fun? That sounds about right. Take her to do something fun. Like we used to do when we would carry stones up and down the mountain from dawn until dusk, picking herbs to eat for dinner along the way. If that is what you ask of me, then that is what I shall do. <laughs> oh, I simply can't listen to that any longer. I'd like to finish what I was trying to say before. I don't support your decision to stay in Liyue Harbor, because living there is too hard on you. If you come home, there will be people to help you. 
Your aunts, uncles, they'll all do whatever they can to help. Just think about it, okay? You don't have to decide now. Dim sum is an... I actually never had dim sum. I don't know how important it is. But it sounds great. Dad really has changed a lot. He would never have said these things to me before. But I... Thank you, Dad. It's been long enough, don't you think? Oh, Paimon sure hopes they've made up by now. Hey, you two! Paimon's sorry we were gone for so long. Perfect timing, actually. We seem to be just about done here. Let's go. I'll get the bags. <sighs> Gaming has grown a lot taller, hasn't he? <laughs> yep. That's what growing up will do to you. Go to Leeway Harbor. Finally. Actually, I want to see what these two are up to. Master, did I say something wrong earlier? Just a little bit. I tried to go along with your questions, but when I saw how you and that man reacted, I started to wonder. <sighs> Not at all. Certain unforeseen variables may have presented themselves along the way, but the outcome proved favorable. The plan was a success. That's a good way to look at it. I don't die. Charlotte! And you must be Mr. Ip! Thank you for coming all this way. I invited you here not just to purchase your fine tea, but also with the hope that you might be willing to sit down for a short interview. I'll need some time to adequately prepare. Perhaps we could sit down and discuss the questions you intend to ask in advance. Is this person also involved in your plan? She's the very important client. I want to hear what he thinks. And here, I thought I had lots of connections. <sighs> I suppose I've been humbled. Main character privilege at the end of the day. Yoo-hoo! Over here! Auntie Shen Yun? She probably wants to talk about the next phase of the plan. I take it that all is going well? No worries, Shen Yun. Everything is going according to plan. I knew it. I knew that was all an act earlier. What's wrong, Gummy? Don't tell me you're the ones footing the bill for all that tea. I can't let you do that. <laughs> Fret not. Reimbursements will be made. We can talk about such matters at a later date. There are more important matters for you to consider at the moment. I've been thinking about it the whole way here. I have an idea. <gasps> are we going to hear it? So I, I can't like wait. This. I'm going to press play and it's going to give me the idea. I hate it here. Let's split up and make it happen. I got to go buy a kite now. Hello again. Are you here to buy a kite? Please take your pick. We wanted to buy one of those, um, device thingies from Fontaine. Do you sell them separately? Ah, yes. Here you go. Please take it free of charge. All right, let's see how we do this. And we're, we're not going to see how they do it. Epic hey, transition. <laughs> not not so good of a transition. The moon. We've made it. Looks Is like it lantern right time? Oh my god, it's actually lantern right. Lock in everybody. Cutscene. Yes. Aww. Okay. <laughs> Look at them. I take back what I said. Where are their kites? I love the colors on this. It's great. What's going on? What's that? Wushu dancer? It's Wusho dancing. Ah, oh, it's gonna be cool. Look at that. He's got a whole stage for himself. It's very impressive. Oh my god.
That was sick. That was so cool. Honestly. <laughs> From an animation perspective, that was very sick to look at. Have I taken that many pictures already? Uh, I need to load more film. <sighs> the kites are coming. Yeah. Where's the Paimon one? I want to see that one so bad. But we don't get to see it. Okay, never mind. Wait. The wind. Hotel. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Damn. If that's not more of a reason enough to play the event quests, I don't know what is. That was that was beautiful. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose I'll go first this time. Okay. Your performance. I've seen many Wu show dances in my time, but I've got to admit, what you pulled off there was breathtaking. Wow. I. I never thought I'd live to hear you say that. You're serious about doing this professionally? A absolutely. I, I know it'll be difficult, but... Then it doesn't matter. What I mean to say is, of course it'll be difficult. But if that's your decision, if that's your dream, then it doesn't matter how difficult it is. As long as you put in the work, then any obstacle can be overcome in time. I'm glad. As any parent, you should strive to you should strive to let your child do what they want, find their passion. All I really want to say is, I've changed my mind. And much like this kite, you also deserve to soar to new heights. He said the metaphor. To me, Gaming, you've always been a great kid. <sighs> All right, that's everything I've got. <laughs> Did you have something you wanted to say, or <laughs> just the one sentence? Ah. <sighs> Seeing the two of them talk things through like this really gives Paimon a sense of accomplishment. Yep, it was all because of you. What? I don't think it was all Paimon. It is what it is. <laughs> uh, really? I'd like to find and thank Auntie Shenyun, as well as everyone else who's helped me out. If everyone has time, maybe we could all get together and go fly a kite. Yes! Finally! The competition! Quest completed. I hope part four isn't too long. But, we must get started on that because I want to fly that dang kite. Recommended quest. Not completing the recommended quest will not affect the game. What? Not completing the recommended quest may result in areas of characters being occupied or meeting new characters early. It's fine. What? Guys, I'm not supposed. I don't think I'm supposed to know these guys just yet.